Hey guys, it's Nick. It's rainy today, so I decided to show you how to play a song called Weather by Novo Armor. First thing first, we will watch the demo how I play in this song with stops. If you need a quick tutorial, this is it. And then I will explain you how to play this song step by step. So now I will move my camera and microphone away and let's listen how it will sound like. So what do you need to know about this song before you will play it? Well, first and first, surprisingly, this song is a uh, standard tuning instead of alternative. I would expect alternative tuning for Nova Arman guitarists to have on their songs, on the guitars to play songs. But this song is playing in standard tuning with a capo on the first fret. And if we will like not count the capo on the first fret, this A minor or C major key. So this song has simple chords, very simple one ones. It's like C major, then D minor, then A major or A minor and F major. This is the verse. And for chorus, uh, they have F major, then A minor and G major, and then F major again. Uh, but as you can hear, there are differences between these usual chords and what's played in the song. This is because uh, this is an alternative. This song sounds different because you will not find their usual chords as they are in usual songs. So we'll have an alternative shapes. I will not give them uh, names, something like C major 7 or C 9 or something like that. Uh, because I'm lazy, so I will call them uh, by the basic names. Doesn't mean that the names of these chords are actual names of the chords. Whatever, man, it doesn't matter really. So let's start with main riff, and it will play in the verse and in the post chorus, pre chorus, and everything <laughs> except those the chords itself. So the main riff is very simple, as I said before, four chords and all these chords will look pretty much the same. You will have anything you want, like ring finger or middle finger on the second string on a third fret, or I would say like any fret, just a second string. And then, for example, index finger on fifth or sixth string on the same fret. And these finger fingerings will be on every chord. The only thing that will change is a fret itself and bass note, fifth or sixth string. So the first chord C is playing with a middle finger on a second string on third fret and index finger on third fret on fifth string. And he will use something like triads, but I would prefer to use just like bass, uh, index finger on third string and middle finger on second string and we will uh, have this pattern so basically you're playing a bass note and then two strings second and third and repeating it four times okay this is a first chord uh, Second chord is D, is playing in the same fingering but on the fifth fret from capo, 
then we have A minor with index finger going up on one string on sixth string on the same fret. And then we have F, which is playing at the same uh, with the same position but on a first fret. So this is basically it, this is the main riff, but we will play it with a little technique called slide. So every time you move from chord to chord you need to make slide and it will sound like this. As you can see I'm making these slides uh, on and now on the first note of every chord. So like for example here I'm playing four times on C and then I'm playing a root note but rhythmically it should be this chord but I'm playing it's uh, and then I'm playing slide. It's because uh, as the slides note that does matter is the last note that you play. So here you're playing first note of the other chord and then moving to this chord. Like this. Here we can make slide because like why would you do that if you just need to uh, put your finger up on one string and then from A to F we're using the same technique. But here as you can see, I'm doing slides after I play the last two notes of this chord of A minor. So uh, this happens because just artists who made this song decide to do the, this this way. So if you're doing this, you will uh, perfectly repeat the guitar line in Nova Armor Weather Song. Uh, and the only one thing that you can add here, uh, it played a couple of times in the song itself, is when you're on D, this is a hammer on and pull off on the second string from 5th to 6th fret, it sounds like this, and while you're playing the third time you can to do this hammer on. You can hear it in the song a couple of times, but it's not something that you should play every uh, time you play in this riff. So this is basically all you need to know about this riff, and the second riff is a chorus. It's pretty simple, there you will find three chords instead of four, I mean like rhythmically there are four chords, but technically just three. The first one is F, and you already know how to play it. And here you will have the same techniques, uh, these are triads plus uh, slides when you're playing, when you're moving from chord to chord. Then we will have a minor chord. Then G. G played in the same way as A minor and F, but with uh, fingers on 3rd fret. And as you noticed, probably, uh, I'm doing first slide with root note, with a bass note on the 6th string, and then every other slide after I played 2nd and 3rd string. So this is chorus and this the whole song itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know how to play this song. If you have any ideas on what songs I should make a tutorial on, uh, you can leave it in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.